welcome to this week's vlog. You guys forgive me for not posting last week. I really was trying. I was trying. I have a um, collective haul that I was trying to share with you guys. And for some reason, um, it's taking forever to upload. So prayerfully, this one that you're seeing, I won't have as much trouble with this vlog, which the other one is much shorter. So I'm, yeah, I'm prayerful that, <laughs> that it won't be a problem. But um, I hope you guys enjoy this vlog and I'll just jump right into it. It's self-explanatory. You'll see what's happening, you know, as we move along. All right. See you in the next one. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. You guys, um, when you hit the like, it just helps me. It helps me. So if you don't mind helping me, it'll help me to um, let YouTube, YouTube know that we're over here rocking. You know what I'm saying? And it's a good video to share and push out. So if you um, like and comment, leave me a comment down below and let me know how you, how you like my channel. All right. And what you want to see more of for me. But um, here we go. My Bluebell ice cream just got here. I'm so excited. Whew. I'm so excited. Denise is on the phone, but I won't show her. I won't show y'all Denise. She'll be mad at me. Hi, everybody. <laughs> she over there going, no, no. <laughs> okay, so this is how it came well, okay, in this box. This was inside this big box. And so we just cut the seal. Look at that, y'all. Okay, so we have the, what is that? Caution, what? Caution, these packages being packaged or packed with dry ice, which can cause yes. burn, cause a burn if it comes in direct contact with your skin. So we can't touch the dry ice? Mm -hmm. But it's on top of here, how do we get it out? <laughs> this is homemade vanilla. I think they're all they're, they're all homemade vanilla. Yeah, I told them I only like homemade vanilla because I that's all I've ever tried. So you have four? That's all you've four. ever tried? I've only tried homemade vanilla. Look at look how cold it still is. Sure, man. Like the I'm smoke burning. is still coming off of it. Let me put. The <laughs> she don't want to burn her hand. No, it start it started to hurt a little bit. <laughs> really? <laughs> Here. Do you have a paper? Yeah, mm -hmm. I, put, I put one on. That's pretty cool. Take this out. Oh, there we go. Huh? Don't come over here. Oh, one piece just slipped on my toe and it did burn my toe. <laughs> Lisa wanted Morgan to come over and um, try on some of Alexis's clothes. So we're over here having a moment. He's so cute. She looks so cute in these things. We're all just smiling. Oh. Yeah. Yes, honey. Yeah. That's cute. Let's see the split. Uh -huh. Yeah. Don't hold it down. Take it out. Let it out there. That is cute. Oh, God. Okay. so happy. Oh, it is, Lee. Good. <laughs> Size the one kind of got you at H&M, huh? I saw the YouTube. Oh, the, um, where you went to oh, the, the denim one. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, that's cute. Oh, that's that cute. Is. That little thing at the bottom. Oh, my gosh. I think she, where did she get that, that at Fashion That looks so, that looks cute. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. oh, so cute. cute. Uh, you want me to hold the mirror? Up? Why are you going to have a whole little water? I know. <laughs> or maybe, maybe put the mirror for a little further. I can hold it up. Uh -huh. Oh, do I have, um. <laughs> That's perfect. Mm. How perfect is all this stuff? It just fits her like nice. like a like a like a glove. Oh, and it comes up like I'm like it's high waisted. High -waisted. Ooh, I love it. Oh my gosh. Walmart can you go over a little bit? Because it's it. you can yeah. fit everything. Everything. Mm -hmm. Oh my, oh, so will you have that, will that no, be, no, oh, no, that's going to be in, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, that's cute. That oh, it's a backpack. Oh, it's a backpack. It's a backpack. Oh, I love. You can put it on the front, too, right? Is that what they did? 
Um, no, they they that's the uh, fanny pack that go pack. across the not the fanny so pack the um. Oh, that's cute. Mm -hmm. orange. Mm -hmm. your orange that look like a in. that look like your mo you can that, a model. I'm just saying. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to have Trina explain to you guys what she just said. The synopsis. <laughs> oh the synopsis. You, you want the camera on you or the, you want the camera off? Off. Okay, so can you guys hear her? Testing, testing. <laughs> so okay. so okay. she's explaining She's explaining this scenario that we're, that we're in right now. I found some purses and some belts. Go ahead, Trina. You ready? Uh huh. So I was saying that God is so in everything that we do that the timing is everything. So Lisa was ready today to release Lex's clothes. Mm -hmm. Morgan just oh, went through her transition of losing weight. And Lisa called Morgan, I'm assuming a couple of months back or maybe last year. Morgan would not have been ready to receive the blessing of Lex's clothes because of her size. Right. So the timing is in everything that Morgan went on a health journey and she's able to try on literally every piece that Morgan tried every piece. on. Every okay, piece. Every piece. I'm not going to do it. Every piece that Morgan tried on, it fit her perfectly like a glove. So my takeaway in this beautiful moment is that God is in all things. His timing is perfect. Right. In all things. Mm -hmm. And she was able to release and she was able to receive. And so God is just, he's living today, tomorrow, forevermore. 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 I mean, ever. he's ever. just so dope like that. He like he, so he does he things, so all things well, you know? All he is, well. And I'm just thankful that he's uh, loved me enough that I just happened to come over to be in this beautiful world. Right, moment. right. So this is just truly a blessing. A true blessing. So. Oh, you needed a belt. There's a bag full of belts. Look, he even gives her a belt. <laughs> <laughs> he even a gives her a belt. belt. <laughs> so Lisa, this is a beautiful moment. Beautiful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm so happy to share it with my mom too. Beautiful moment. Yeah. She's been doing this from the gate. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Coming over here getting all the stuff that Lex grew out of, yes. you know? Yes. Yes. Because yes. what? You guys are... Two years apart? A year and a half apart, maybe? year and a half. It's, you turned 21, and Alexis had just turned 22. Mm -hmm. So you got like a year and a half. Mm -hmm. And year. Alexis and Morgan were so tight. Mm -hmm. I mean, they were together. I oh, mean, I have so much. many videos. Oh my gosh, I have those videos. Oh, of her, um, on her iPad. Yes. yes. Oh, I want to see them. You want to see them? I, gotta go I do. Let me go see if I can find them. I just tried on that um, Loewe balloon pump. I'm not sure if that's the name of it, but the one with the balloon on the heel, the pump. First, um, I was, all I was seeing was a sandal, but I tried on the pump. It's so different. Then he brought out that brown one. That brown one was fire, but they only go up to a size 40. <sighs> they don't like us big feet people, you know? Okay, so you guys, be sure to get your to use your rewards points and stuff like that when you go into these stores and on your credit cards and all that kind of stuff don't forget to use your points because if you don't use them then you'll lose them in a lot of cases and so i just left out of bloomingdale's i went over there to get um a hand cream i wanted to try one of the Byredo hand creams and so I went over there actually to see how much it cost. And I know I love the Baldi Freak fragrance, but then they, they let me smell um, gypsy water. And so at that point, when they let me smell the gypsy water, it smelled good. And I'm like, and also I think it was No Man's Land. They also let me try. But I was trying to make the choice between gypsy water and Baldi Freak. And, um, so I'm like, let me just get Baldi a free, you know. I know I have that that body lotion and the fragrance and stuff like that. So let me just get that. I got up to the register and he was like, oh, you have um, a $50 point. You want to use your, your $50 points? You have 50, two, he said 175, 250s, and a 25. That's what I had. And so um, I'm like, oh, um, yeah, I want to use them. <laughs> And so then I'm like, you saying fifty dollars? 
told me I had a $50 one to cover the, the hand cream. I said, are you saying $50? And he said, yeah. So I'm like, oh, okay. Well, give me both of them. Now I can get both, you know, the, the hand creams. And so I did that. And um, then I'm like, mm, I wanted to try that orange lipstick, that Gucci lipstick, you know. This is something I bought the other one the other day. I bought, I think it was Penny Beige or Beige Penny or something like that from Gucci. Um, but today I bought an orange, orange, orange um, um, lipstick today from Gucci. Since I had the points, I'm like, let me just go on and get it. And it was like, I think that lipstick alone is $48. So I'm like, let me use up all my little free points. I was trying to figure out what else I could get, but. I'll use them another day, but I'm definitely gonna use them. You know, now that I know I got them, I don't wanna lose them. I don't know if Bloomingdale's does that or not, where you lose them, but um, I really was ready to go, so. Otherwise, I would've, I would've found something to spend them <laughs> the free points on, you know what I'm saying? Or, I guess they're not free, but I paid for them at some point, but I'm just saying, you wanna use your points. Good morning. All right, today's uh, outfit is this hat by Lack of Color. Um, I have on my shades from, I think these are YSL. Yes, Saint Laurent. Um, this cord from uh, Anthropology. Uh -oh. It's just, you know, like a short skirt. I got my Spanx on under it. Cause I had to keep up. I had to put my Spanx over my my uh, Gucci tights <laughs> because they are a little short on me. So you know, I remember when I was younger, we used to have to put our panties over our tights. <laughs> so I went for my my Spanx over my tights today. All right. Um, this skirt um, is kind of short, but the tights help with that. I have on these boots from Schutz, my favorite brand of shoe. These are so lightweight and very comfortable. The heel height is not obnoxious, but um, it's high enough to be sexy, you know what I mean? Um, I have on this ring by Fancy Couture, as well as my earrings. I didn't, I was going from top to bottom, but I, I missed my earrings. These earrings are from Fancy Couture Couture with a K. <laughs> um, they're on Instagram. You can find them over on Instagram. Um, my arm candy. You guys, I lost one of my Dior, my Jador cuff. And I'm on the hunt for another. Um, probably like a used, one of those pre-loved um, websites. Maybe Fashion File or something like that. I think I'm going to find one there. If you guys know of one, leave it in the comments where I can find one. The Jador uh, Gold Cuff uh, from Christian Dior. Um, I'm looking for one, pre-loved or you or uh, or um or not. This is my JBW watch, which is on backwards, so I'm gonna have to turn that around. And um, yeah, I think that's it for my outfit. For my makeup today, I kept it simple. I am wearing. You know, my usual face combo, I use, um, uh, I think it's Born This Way Concealer. I'll put it on the screen, the name of the concealer, but I think that's what it is. And my my eyeliner, I have on kind of a heavy eyeliner, and it is uh, Makeup by Mario. I love that liner. Actually, I don't have my lashes on. That's what's going on. Let me go put on my lashes, my Lily lashes. You know what I mean? I gotta do that, hold on. Okay, here we go. I have on my Lily Lashes, I just popped those on. Um, the Style Rome. And that's that on my lid, I have Mocha Mommy, which is what I normally put on. I didn't do my brows, I didn't fill in my brows today. Um, uh, what else do I have on my face? Uh, concealer, I didn't put on foundation, I just kinda blended out my concealer and then I put over it um, my Mac uh, Studio this is on screen. It'll be it's by Mac, though it's just a powder um, that I put over and kind of blend out my 
concealer all right on my lips i have um, them lined with chestnut by mac and then gucci it's penny beige or beige penny penny beige i believe it is and it is a satin nude it's i think it's the perfect nude for brown girls you know um the best one i found anyway penny beige by gucci um gucci beauty i guess it is um, but it feels good. It's not mad at all. It's satin and I have it in my purse just in case. It's my first time wearing it, um, but I love the color. I love the color of it, all right? Um, that's my outfit for today. That's my outfit for today and I'm carrying this purse is coming out of nowhere <laughs> and it is, uh, it doesn't match. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I probably could have found like a a uh, cream colored nude colored bag but i wanted to carry this one so it, this is what it is all right so this is my full look for today happy sunday guys i forgot to tell you guys my fragrance for today is tom ford soleil blanc um if you saw my last vlog you know i picked that up in the um sephora sale so I popped it on today and I smell lovely. I actually put on Baldia Freak as my um, my body cream right off the shower. I normally put a body cream on immediately when I get out of the shower and that's Baldia Freak by Byredo. And then I put on my body um, a little bit of Te Noir by Le Labo and um, I normally do put a fragrance, whether it's the same fragrance or a different one. I put a base layer of, of fragrance on my actual skin and then um, I kicked it up with the, once I was dressed, I kind of just doused, you know, myself a little bit, not doused, what's the word, spritzed myself with um, Tom Ford Sole Blanc. So that's what I smell like. <laughs> Working across the street they are I think they're building some more um, another apartment community um, across the street as well as it's supposed to be a, uh, like Stater Brothers and all that kind of stuff that they're working to, working on a little further up the street but nonetheless um, <laughs> I'm ready to move all this drama going on over here Anyway, um, I, what am I doing today? I'm getting ready to get on here and get my gift card from Sephora. Um, I want to do that really quick because they said they, they put them up every Tuesday and Thursday, 9 a.m. So I'm going to get this real quick and then I'll get back to you guys. Y'all, it's 9.09. I'm trying to get my gift card from Sephora. You're supposed to be able to get a hundred dollar gift card when you get 2500 points and i have 2799 points so now i'm i'm um chatting with one of the beauty advisors at sephora and she's supposed to help me to be able to get it so it says tuesday and thursdays at 9 a.m so i'm trying to you know <laughs> i'm on here she ain't talking to me. All she said was hi. Uh, let's see, here we go. Lee Marie Sephora Beauty Advisor is typing. 
You know, this is, why is this a hassle? You're supposed to be, first they told me when I was in store that I was supposed to get it when I got 2,000 points. And so then when I tried to redeem it, they said 2,500 points. This is, this is while supply lasts. It comes out every Tuesday and Thursday at 9 a.m., 9 Pacific Standard Time. How do I redeem? Okay, so I think I did it. What you have to do is click on the My Account icon and then click the Beauty Insider icon. Scroll down from the Rewards Bazaar and click View All. Um, scroll down to the 2500 point level to see the Rouge Reward Add to Basket and Agree to Terms. Um, uh, terms. And then I did that and let me place my order. Okay, we got it. And it gives you my order number. It's order. Check your inbox shortly for a confirmation email. And then it says continue shopping, which I will do once I get <laughs> my. Um, Once I get my gift card, okay? So yeah, $100, $100. I see they have $20, let me see if I can find it. I think it said, let me see if it gives you the breakdown again. You guys, these rewards, don't don't sleep on your rewards because you get some good stuff with these rewards. Of course, it's not going to let me get back to it, but it was like $30. Uh, oh, here we go. Um, 500 points is $10, which you know you can get that. If for $500, you can get $10 off in store um, or off a of purchase. Um a hundred dollars is twenty five hundred points, which is what I got. Um, a thousand points is twenty dollars. Fifteen hundred points is thirty dollars. So for every five hundred, you get ten dollars. But if you get to um, twenty five hundred points. I'll be saving, you know? I've been saving these for a long time. I was like, mm, no. You know, because they try to get you to look, get the little crap um, samples. I don't need, a, unless it's something that I really want, I just pass over that and save my points. I just knew it would pay off. I'd rather have $100 to spend than to have those little things, you know? All right, so I'm getting ready to get ready for the gym and um what else am i doing today i think i need to do a little cleaning and i need to go to bath and body works to get some wallflowers they're on sale <laughs> have to talk to mark because he used to be on top of it like that was just i mean it wasn't when we first got together he did this probably up until mm, i want to say about maybe six months ago he would put gas in my car every week and even if um he didn't he would follow me to the gas station but he ain't been available <laughs> <laughs> like that, you know what I'm saying? I, I feel like I've been putting my gas in my own my own gas in my tank for um for the last I want to say at least four or five times I've done it. Y'all heard that little bell just ring? That's because <laughs> I wait till the last minute to get my gas. I hate getting gas, like. Anyway, I'm getting ready to go up to Sephora. I got my card, my um, 
my hundred dollar gift card um it came in my email so i'm going to go use it and i'm also going to go over here to the shops because they also have a bath and body works and i need to get um some wallflowers because they on sale baby they on sale i don't know what the sale is but they on sale so I don't be wanting to pay full price. I like when they have them like five for 25 or whatever it is. I think it's five for 25 I normally get. So let's see what they got today. And um, I'm going to stock up on my wallflowers on my holiday scent wallflowers. I'm sure they have those in store right now. Because Christmas is in the air. It's in the air. Plus I'll probably get a few candles for um next week when we go stay in our airbnb so i have a few things you know for then because you know you stay in airbnb i just like for it to smell real good <laughs> you know what i mean it kind of takes my mind away from the the fact that other people have stayed there and all the things i feel that way in a hotel too but not as much as i do in an airbnb so Okay, so I hit up Bath and Body and they have all three wick candles are, let me read it right here. Of all three wick candles, $10 off. Um, let's see, all wallflowers wall are $3.95 and you get three, I think it's three, is it three full size body care products um buy three get one free that's what they are and then they got hand soaps five for 25 so it's a good time to get up to bath and body um a lot of the holiday fragrances are out so um if you don't like those then don't come <laughs> But um, they had some other ones like eucalyptus and stuff. I got a fragrance called Dream Bright. It smells so good when I was in the store anyway. Um, it's like holiday-ish. It's got vanilla and berries and stuff in it. So it's not the typical cinnamon and apple, but um, you know, and, and balsam um, fragrance, but good. Smells good. Hey guys, it is Thursday. Wednesday? Thursday. Thursday. <laughs> it's Thursday. And um, I'm headed to the store right now to get me some of that seafood salad that I've been getting from Albertsons. Uh, the Market Fresh seafood salad has celery and um, shrimp and crab in it. And it's delish. Anyway, um, I'm leaving the mall. I went by this boy is get get myself this um shirt sheer like shearling kind of shirt jacket from Good American um at Nordstrom and um I got the I got it I wanted to get I wanted it to be extremely oversized the style of it is oversized so the three four um you know good American sizes is one two that's a small or I don't know if it's small extra small it must be a small medium is um three four and large is five six extra large seven eight but this um came in an oversized style already so um I ended up getting the three four but I wanted the five six they didn't have any more in any color but because I bought myself a couple beanies, I thought it'd be best just to get the black one. Um, because I have a red beanie and I think I have a yellow 
beanie so and then a black beanie so i thought i better get the the um, black jacket but it's really cute um but I, while i was at the mall i smelled the new uh mfk maison francis kirk de Jean, um you know the one that makes baccarat rouge 540 um they have a new fragrance called um the, the name of it is 724 and i have to say i'm not a fan <laughs> honestly so i've had it on ever since walking out the mall and it smells like a floral soap on me it's a very clean fragrance um i definitely wouldn't categorize it as a fall or winter scent at all it smells like you know how you get like um somebody gives you like soap and stuff in a in a little do that little um box or something like that they give you soaps the different fragrances of soaps that's what it smells like to me and i didn't check the price but if it's sitting over there by baccarat rouge and gentle fluidity and all the other the uh, all the other fragrances i'm certain it's gonna cost what they cost and that's that's a lot so but it's a big fat no thank you for me <laughs> for that um MFK 724 fragrance. A large Martha Fresh seafood salad. Good morning, y'all. It is Friday, and I was just sitting here. <coughs> I was on social media, and you know, it just, I'm so deeply saddened by this Sean Quella Robinson situation, this young lady, beautiful young lady, um, you know, who has lost her life behind some foolery, I'm sure. Um, you know, and, and it just befuddles me, <laughs> you know, that all of us pretty much you know we're programmed by the things that we see and the things that we say we, we take in that's why the bible tells us to guard guard our hearts and our minds you know but um we're we're programmed by the the things that we see specifically in this situation there was a young lady that um used to go to our church and she uh would always be posting these fights and um you know, just fights mostly with girls, you know, that, and the girls will just be going, I mean, they go so hard on each other, and I, I don't like professional fighting. I don't like watching that be myself, you know what I mean? It's just the thought of somebody just pounding someone's head, face, body, you know, that just, I don't know, it doesn't set well with me, but, you know, especially these girls, you know, the street fighting, just acting a fool for, for what? Over stupid stuff, you know? Um, but in particular, you know, I would say to this lady, this young lady, I would be saying to her to, you know, be careful because she had a daughter at, at the time. I think two or three now, but <laughs> um, you have a daughter and it's just not a good look for you to be promoting somebody. You wouldn't want nobody doing that to your kid. And, you know, it's just, it was like, it was funny, you know, they thought it was funny. And so I'm like, um, I would encourage her not to do that. You know, just, just as, um, uh, an example in her life, you know what I mean? Somebody that I'm, I'm the pastor's wife, you know what I mean? So I would just encourage her not to entertain that. That's not funny. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's not funny. And so she, um, I don't know whether she did or not, but this situation definitely made, took my mind back to that conversation because I feel like, you know, this generation, they are so desensitized you know, to 
um, and they disregard human life. They disregard the fact that that's somebody's child, somebody's, you know, sister, somebody's loved one. And they're just, you know, recording and um, cheering on. And then, you know, they're, nobody's stepping in to help. And it, it was just very, very sad, very um, disheartening that young people have such a disregard for human life. That is something that it's like they're under this spell, <laughs> you know, of popularity or doing stuff that, that is going to, um, you know, gain attention. And, um, you know, it's sad. The attention that they're gaining is not good. You know, <laughs> it's like, uh, this could, this has the potential, you know to have you in jail for murder. You know what I'm saying? You wish you would have rethought this a little bit. And maybe maybe if they, you know, prosecute these young people, you know, which is sad in itself, you know what I'm saying? That's sad too. But maybe if they prosecute these young people, then, then more young people will give pause before, you know, participating in such uh, diabolical, and sinister behavior, you know, um, maybe they'll, they'll give pause, you know what I'm saying? Because it's a life, whether you, whether you, um, put value on it or not, that's somebody's life. That's somebody's child. I mean, I, I just wanted to just hold my kids <laughs> so close to me and be like, mm, no, you don't have no friends. I'm your friend. <laughs> You know what I mean? Because who are these people? We, me and Mark were talking last night. It's like, girls are ruthless. Like, they probably, they said she died within 24 hours of getting to Cabo. Um, it could have been a scenario where, you know, and I'm just speculating, but, I'm, you know, in trying to make sense of this, it could have been a scenario where maybe, you know, this Shanquella Robinson was friends with, you know, maybe two or three of the girls and then somebody that she was friends with invited somebody else and then that somebody else didn't like her and you know you know what I mean? It could have been anything like that, but just to go to another country with just some random people, some people that obviously were not her friends, you know. I young people we just gotta think. We gotta think ahead. We got to figure out, you know, um, think it, just thinking ahead is, is going to be huge for you, for you guys, you know, because you're, you're experiencing so much more, so much, so much sooner than what we did. You know what I mean? By the time we were out the country going on girls trips and stuff, you know, women were in their forties and fifties and now y'all, and y'all, 20s, you know what I mean? Teens and, and 20s, you know, out of the country. And out of the country is a, is a, um, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing to, to be well-traveled and all that kind of stuff. But you, you know, it's played like Brittany Griner, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, um, other countries have different rules. They have different, um, systems. They, they don't move like we move. And, um, get over there you know what I'm saying and get stuck now I, I don't know how Mexico does it but if they prosecute it happened in Mexico <laughs> so um, I don't know what that's gonna look like for them you know super sad um okay I'm gonna go downstairs I'm not sure what I'm doing today I don't think I have a whole lot to do um, I kind of need to get myself ready for start preparing for Thanksgiving, you know. Um, I think some of the kids are going to be here today. I might have them go pull out some of my Christmas stuff. <laughs> Utilize my help, you know what I'm saying?
Good morning. Happy Sunday. Today is the 20th of November. I can't believe that the year <laughs> is just about over. But anyway, I want to share today with you guys my Sunday spiff. <laughs> my outfit for the day is um, this dress from, I got mine from the Mass Collections. They have them all over the internet. They're in all kinds of different prints. The shape of the dress is what um, makes it, you know, unique. It's um, got, I don't know, like a, a pleat or a gather or something here that just kind of, you know, uh, gives the shape. But it's super cool. Does the something similar in the back. Not really a gather, but it kind of comes together back there some kind of way. It's very stretchy, so it's forgiving, you know what I mean? You can be whatever size <laughs> and pull this look off. You have to, um, actually, um, the girl that sent me mine from the mask collection, she was going to send another, and she said that the cut was a little funky. It was a little smaller, so um, I would keep that in mind, I guess. But the dress is super comfortable. It, you know, catches at the sleeve, kind of goes in there at the sleeve. I think it's super cute. And like I said, very comfy. So um, I paired it today with my L-shape uh, boots from Jeffrey Campbell. Um, this heel is, it's surprisingly sturdy, you know? I mean, like... I've worn these boots a few times. I've had them about a year, a little over a year, and um, I've worn them and have no issues. Today I have on this necklace from Zara. Um, I'm gonna have Morgan, I can never get it tight enough. So I'm gonna have Morgan, when I get downstairs, tighten it so it will fit like that versus like this. <laughs> and then I have on my earrings from, these are from the Balenciaga outlet at um in palm desert i got these probably like two years ago and i rarely wear them because the back that came with them which is a super cute back but it's not um it doesn't stay on so i had to switch this out for a old school you know snatch cap <laughs> you know what i'm saying snatch back um because the earring kind of falls it's kind of heavy and so um it wants to, you know, hang down. So, and my the where my ears are pierced is kind of low, so it doesn't allow it to sit up like that. So anyway, I just put that that um, another back on there to keep it, make sure it doesn't fall off. Um, today I have on my JBW watch, and on um, this arm I have on my Dior uh, bracelet, and I have I put on my um, YSL cuff. Um, since I have on, you know, black, I thought I'd throw that cuff in there since I lost my other, my Jador, um, cuff, you know, I lost that two weeks ago now. So, you know, I put this little hat, I got this hat from Amazon, believe it or not. Super cute. Um, I just put in, um, beret with a net. And this little puppy came up so cute. I ended up getting one for my girlfriend um, because she borrowed mine and fell in love with it. And then they started wanting to give me yours, you know, that type of thing. I'm like, let me just order you one. <laughs> so I ordered her one. Hers is a little bit different because I think she has little, little dots on her neck. But um, this one's cute and it's easy to see through. I think the dots might be an issue for me as far as seeing through it. I can actually, you know, I don't have to push this one up. I can still leave this one down. It, yeah, no issues. All right, I'm um, gonna carry my YSL Ika bag today. Um, I love this bag. I've been loving it. I'm gonna do a review on it um, because it's a few things that I think you know, you might want to note if you have one or if you're thinking about getting one, you might want to be careful when you put stuff in the bag because of the way it kind of gathers in the middle like that. Um, it does, you, you think you're putting stuff in there and it's actually sliding out 
And so my girlfriend called me last night and she was like, um, be careful with your bag because I thought I was putting my wallet inside the bag and actually she was putting it, she put it in and it slid right out here and onto the ground. And so somebody was uh, riding their bike off with her, <laughs> with her wallet. And so um, I like it because I have big arms, you know, broad shoulders and stuff, but I can still put it on my shoulder. So that hole is big enough for my big arms. <laughs> you know, that's the issue. You know, that's the issue for me. I don't know, and, and big arm people, I'm assuming, for everybody, not just me, it's an issue that it doesn't fit into the hole. And so, um, if you have small arms, of course, that's not an issue, and you can rock your bag, but it's a nice bag, and I'm excited still about it, so I carry it every chance I get. Anyway, I'm on my way to church. I'm on my way to Faith Fellowship. Oh, I didn't tell you guys about my lipstick real quick. My lipstick is the Uncensored by Fenty. It's the um, it's the liquid lipstick, and I lined it with Vino. First, I used Beat, but Beat wasn't deep enough, so I went on in back in with Vino, and um, yeah, that's my lip combo. So I'm on my way to Faith Fellowship, and. I'm super excited this morning to be at church, you know, it's, I don't know, I'll be ready to, for church on Sunday. How about y'all? Y'all want to come with me? I'm also going to wear this, um, this wool coat that I got from Zara. Um, it has the bomber jacket sleeves, if you can see that. Um, you know, it's like a regular bomber jacket. The sleeves are, I thought this was different. It was a, this is a size large. I wish I would have gotten an extra large, but just so the sleeves could be a little bit longer. They're long enough, honestly. I just like an oversized jacket, but the real, I mean, the showstopper to me is this. Look at this lining. This lining, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take that white tag out. I hate when people leave those tags in. The real showstopper is, I mean, especially up against this dress. This dress, I don't know if you guys see right here, this orange. It has that color running through it so I thought that would be cute today um it's a little cool you know this morning it probably won't be cool or long but I'll at least at least get to wear it for this morning but